Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a you versus them love reading for my dearest Taurus. Taurus, I'm going to read your energy on the left, your person's energy on the right, and then we're going to see what's happening between you right down the middle. Now at any point in time, feel free to swap the energies that I may be picking up on. And I also urge you to play with time. This could be a past connection, a current situation, or an energy moving towards you in the next couple of weeks. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages, advice, and guidance come through for my dearest Taurus for their highest and greatest good. Okay, so you're showing up as the Nine of Swords in reverse. You're viewing your person as the Ten of Pentacles. And you're viewing the connection as the King of Cups. So I can see here that you really do love this person. Okay, they're showing up as the Seven of Swords in reverse. The Three of Pentacles. Okay, and we have the Three of Wands in reverse. So it does look like there's some sort of interference here. Taurus blocking this connection. For some of you, this person is married. Okay, for some of you, yep, there's been some sort of deep reveal here that's really put you in your feels. Yep, we've got the Knight of Wands, we've got the Ace of Swords, uh-oh, Taurus, and we've got the Queen of Wands in reverse. There's definitely a third party here. Some of you may have found out this person was married or that they were double dealing here. We've got the Queen of Cups in reverse, and I feel this has made for a very emotionally messy situation. In the center of the reading, I see that communication is blocked. I'm seeing here that the Ace of Swords in reverse, there have been lies and there have been deceit, and I think your person, Taurus, <clears throat> has you in a third-party situation, and I think you saw marriage and you love or loved this person, but with the Nine of Swords here in reverse, whatever has happened, it has put you in a tailspin is what I'm getting, has you really in your feelings, a really, really difficult time. Yep, you've been left feeling alone, out in the cold, disappointed. Now you're viewing your person as the Ten of Pentacles. So again, some of you are just finding out this person is married. Um, some of you, you know, you would, you know, you were willing to put in a lot of work or you really like the fact that this person worked really hard for what they had. They were successful. They have a lot to offer. So I do see like, I see you admiring this person and you're viewing the connection as the King of Cups. You love this person and you see or saw stability here with this person. Some of you, this is a water sign, a Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces. Um, the Seven of Swords in reverse tells me your person has revealed something that I think has really upset you. Yeah, but uh, these are major red flags here, Taurus, with the Seven of Swords, because it, it, your person has been sneaky. They've been manipulative. They've been keeping something from you, and they're viewing you as the Three of Pentacles in reverse. This is viewing you as an option, seeing you as a third party. Some of you, they feel like maybe you have someone else or something else. I mean, it is possible maybe both of you are involved with other people. But I, I think this person knows more than anything that they've been breadcrumbing you. They haven't been giving you reciprocity and balance. And I don't like this person's energy, Taurus, because I feel like there's been a reveal that you can't trust this person. And with the Three of Wands in reverse, they're viewing this connection as blocked or they're viewing this third party intervention. But with the world card energy in reverse, they feel like it's not completely over so that they can still keep you around or that you know they can still work on things. But to be honest, Taurus, like the energy I'm picking up on here is a major deal breaker. The queen of wands in reverse is a third party. The knight of wands in reverse is somebody here who's a bit of a player. Yeah, and I think it's become very clear. I think you've fallen in love with somebody, Taurus, who may not deserve that love, all right? And, you know, with the Ace of Swords in reverse, it's like I can see that there may be a lot left unsaid. Um, there, it, To me, this is lies or deceit, and it's coming from your person, and it's left you out in the cold, and Spirit saying, Six of Swords, Ace of Swords, at the heart of this reading, there is seven of swords energy, okay, which is moon and Aquarius. This is very, very deceitful energy, something that's really drained you for a long time. Some of you, this person, you know, has been doing this for a long time. A lot of you, I can see that you're in love with this person or you were very much so in love with this person. So I feel like it's a big shock and big surprise. 
For some of you, they may have been promising divorce or separation here for a long time, but it never really happened. It is not going to happen is what I'm seeing. And I'm seeing that this energy or being treated like a third party or this third party has drained your strength. And you've got somebody here that is very egocentric. I would even go as far to say at narcissistic. And I feel this is your energy, Queen of Wands in the upright. You have a lot to offer. This is char this is charisma. This is fire. This is passion. You have a lot to offer here, Taurus. And um, I, I can see that you've been deeply hurt, deeply wounded here by this person or this situation. I do hope for a lot of you, this is someone who's in your past. Um, they are coming up in your energy. So, you know, I can't change the, the messages that come through. But let's see, what else do my Taurus need to know here? Yep, boom, there it is, this person, self-absorbed, narcissist. So many of you, this is what you're healing from. They are coming in to chase you, and I feel that's why we're getting these messages, Taurus, that this person doesn't want to let you go. They're coming in to chase you, all right? Um, you have many options, but I also feel this person's been stringing you along and when they come back in, they're going to continue to string you along because they're seeing you as the six of pentacles energy in reverse, like that they, that this is and has been imbalanced. And many of my Taurus, you may have been making excuses for this person as to why they weren't showing up, why they weren't inviting you out with friends and family, you know, um, just, it, you know, I don't love this energy because I can see that you have so much to offer. And that's this message here with the Queen of Wands. You have so much abundance. You can manifest whatever you want. You have other options. It's really time to let this person go. You deserve stability and security. I think this person probably promised it to you at some point in time, or maybe they just continuously promise it to you. You cannot trust this person, Taurus. You cannot trust this person. It's time to cut them off. It's time to move forward. I feel they've brought you a lot of drama. I feel they've brought you a lot of heartache and not just you, others as well. This is someone who's very irresponsible with other people's feelings. Okay. It feels like it could be a water sign, but let's see. What else do we need to know here? Old patterns. So one cannot evolve if choices around old, comfortable, but destructive habits remain. It's time to evaluate those choices. All right, Taurus, it's time to evaluate those choices and recognize needs you may be neglecting and nurture that part of you yearning for growth. Never stop working on yourself. Yeah, but it's time to let go of these old patterns or anything that's been keeping you stuck or stagnant. Just this doesn't feel good, Taurus. This energy is something that needs to be released. And hopefully many of you, you have released this energy. Um, we are going to pull some cards on what this person might want to say to you because I feel there's a big red flag warning that they're coming in to chase you, but it's all about them. It's going to continue to be all about them. And um, we will be together again. So this person is determined to keep you in their life, but it's like as a third party and in I'm more affected than you know. Yeah. And they are kind of freaking out right now. Most likely you've cut them off or you've moved away from them. Again, the narcissist here is definitely going to react to, to that. Okay. To you moving away from them. Um, so I'm going to see what final messages, advice, and guidance spirit has for my Taurus here. And I am going to pull some cards because I do feel it's important that many of you see that you have other options and there's somebody else coming your way. Spirit saying, the treasure you are looking for is hidden in the ground you're standing on. It's time to dig deeper. Yeah, I feel like this whole reading, Taurus, is about you really acknowledging what you have to offer, what you bring to the table, and that's abundance. You are this queen of wands, male or female, it doesn't matter. You have so much to offer here. And Spirit saying, stand your ground, hold your own power, never give it away. Not everyone is there to support you, and especially not this person. This person cannot be trusted, okay? So what I'm going to do, Taurus, is I am going to take a look at um, who else might be coming your way. I do think it's really important because hopefully for a lot of you, this is someone that you've, you know, that you've put in the rear view mirror, okay? And so for a lot of you, my Taurus, this is going to be a confirmation reading. And I know it's not the most upbeat, but I do know people out there need to hear it. And it's not just one of you. I mean, this is a collective reading for Taurus. And if it doesn't resonate with you, that's completely okay. Um, do check your other signs, your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Um, all right, let's see who else is coming towards my Taurus. All right. So you might have a Capricorn coming your way. Somebody who's reliable, their work and stability are 
high priority, somebody who's really solid. This is somebody who's going to give you that stability and security that you deserve and that you're looking for. Okay. They might be a friend. This person might be a little bit jealous of this past energy. I think they'll let you know that they're, that they don't like this energy around you. They don't like this person. For some of you, they've never liked that person. And it could be somebody who either wants a large family or comes from a large family. But this is the energy to focus on here, Taurus. All right, let's see. Clear messages, advice, and guidance for my Taurus, please. Clear messages, advice, and guidance for my Taurus, please. Okay, this new person has a severe allergy. Okay, your paths will cross during the next air sign season. So, you know, like... In Gem at the end of Gemini season, at least in the east coast of the United States, where I am right now, um, it is allergy season. So you might meet this person and, you know, they might take Claritin or something or take some sort of allergy medication. So it does feel like it's coming up pretty soon. Okay. And this person is multilingual, so they can speak more than one language fluently. And your paths will cross during some sort of um, celebration or holiday in Gemini season. All right. Maybe a birthday party. They're physically active. And yeah, a lot of you, you might meet this person at a party or out with friends. This is the energy you want to focus on. All right. Make sure you know, you let them know you're available. You're looking and a private getaway for two is calling you. Okay. And this is going to be a dream come true. So what I feel here, um, for my dear Taurus is that like this person with this rendezvous energy, you two are going to meet in a group and like, they're going to really want to try to get you on your own. Obviously be very careful with that. Right. But I feel like it's like, they're going to want to, you, you two are going to form an immediate little bubble around each other, right? Like just lose, you know, just be talking to each other, be so into each other all night when you first meet. That's what I'm getting. Um, and this is going to be a dream come true for you, Taurus. So I do feel there's a beautiful silver lining here after what you've dealt with. And some of you still might be dealing with this energy. And I'm sending you so much strength and so much peace and ease as you move away from something that really just truly isn't healthy for you. All right, my dear Taurus, I'm going to leave it there. If these messages do resonate with you, I'm going to ask that you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light, my dear Taurus. Take care.